Sounds like we have a few inbreds in here. <laughs> I'm Mitchell Lightweight fight. Coming up here at ECC2. And we've got Josh Blackshaw. He's taking on Aaron Johnson. Cautious approach from both. I don't know who that is. Blackshaw. Blackshaw's pushing. Yeah, Johnson got, against the fence. Got Blackshaw in the red trunks trim with black. And his opponent there, Johnson in the blue. And uh, Blackshaw... Pushing his man on the fence, looking for that takedown, but there you go. Johnson does a good job of freeing himself, opening back up into that space in the middle of the cage. Johnson looks a little bit scrappy in his stand up there. Yeah, really leaned in with that right hand. Lands a nice low kick though. Coming in with that big overhand right. He uses it to close the distance, but Blackshaw's managed to turn his man on the fence. He's got a nice high under up there. Looking for that trip on that far side. Might be able to pop out to the back. Looking to take the back is uh, Johnson. Uh, Blackshaw there gets that takedown. And he's on top. Johnson on the bottom. Yeah, 
Blackshaw working from the top position. Johnson looking to maybe secure an arm for a Kimura, looking to sit back up. And he's got that Kimura grip on that side. Yeah, he's going to look probably look to struggle to finish his being against the fence. He could probably use it to stand up, you know, maybe, but he's let go of the Kimura now. Yeah, good job from Johnson scrambling up to his feet there, but Blackshaw's managed to come all the way out to his back. Johnson looks to be doing the right thing. He's looking to put his back on the fence, get his underhook. And John, uh, Blackshaw, sorry, jumps for the back. Johnson tried throwing him over that shoulder, but what's happened is he's let his man stink that hook in, and he's got that over under seatbelt grip, looking to attack for that choke. He's got one hook in, so Johnson could tripod up and try and shake his man off from the, the back there. If he gets that second hook in, though, then there's uh, even bigger trouble. And there's the second hook. Yeah, he secured the, he secured the back now as Black, Blackshaw. Yeah, and uh, they're quite quick for these three minute rounds. And Johnson's managed to shake Blackshaw off. Good work from him there. Very good work. He lands a nice right hand. Slides through the guard of Blackshaw. Blackshaw looks a little bit tentative, but nice jab. Johnson initiates the takedown again. Over under from. Oh. Blackshaw tried that suicide throw, but he. Um, he managed to get up on top, but it wasn't exactly textbook. It was very suicidal. It was. He said that right. But he'll ride, he'll ride out this round from the top position, it looks like. And that's the end of round one. I think, I think Blackshaw wins that. You know, mainly by getting the takedown, taking the bike. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he advanced to a dominant position there. He got the back control, had that control for quite a while. Blackshaw finds a seat from somewhere. Some uh, poor sucker in the VIP section when they come back from the toilet are not going to have a seat. But WWF <laughs> match covered up now. And you've got two experienced corners there. You've got the, the Sheffield Shoot guys. Uh, Pep and uh, undefeated pro welterweight there, Sam Bolt. I think he retired undefeated at 6 or 7 and 0. And obviously Tom Blackledge in the corner of Johnson. This is why you do this sort of stuff. You know your stuff there. I ain't got a clue what you just said. <laughs> this sounded good though. Yeah, exactly. That's why they bring me in. The knowledge bombs. That's why you're getting paid double what I'm getting paid. So I'm going to try and get these names right now. Johnson with the blue shorts. Blackshaw with the red shorts. That's it. And we're out for round two. Big low kick there from Johnson. He's got a bit of a well under the eye, under his right eye. Yeah, Johnson has, yeah, he has. Ooh, nice trade there by Blackshaw. Good, some good solid punches. Yeah, the uppercut came from a, a strange angle, but it landed nicely. Johnson trying to stalk his man, keep his back on the fence. He's dominating the centre, and a big overhand right comes through. And again, and, and it, oh, nice take down there by Johnson. That's good timing. That's, you know, that's mixed martial arts. Going off the back of the strike and straight into that takedown. Blackshaw, he's got the you know the long limbs. He, he could be tricky from the bottom. He's looking to turn off his hips. I think he looks pretty tricky on the bottom there as Blackshaw. You know, looking to swivel his hips out, feet on the hips. But Johnson's pressing him against the fence, which is a great position. Oh, nice triangle. Chucks the triangle as Blackshaw. Yeah, he's popping for the wrong leg though there. Yeah, he needs to move out to his left hand side instead of the right. But it's a dangerous position for Johnson. He's trying to work. He's trying to pummel that right hand back in. If you see uh, Blackshaw's look, he's holding his toe to try and set that up. He needs to really be looking at holding from the shin to try and finish his triangle. I think Johnson might have just bought himself a little bit of space by managing to work that right hand back inside. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult for, for Blackshaw to finish because he's pushed up against the fence and the angle's not right. He's going for the wrong leg. You know, he needs to switch his hips really. The, the triangle will come on if he switches his hips. Yeah, Johnson he's just working though. He's working though. Yeah, he's working for it. Johnson, as I say, just just got himself a little bit of space with that right hand in, but no, this is no, he's sinking it up tighter. Now he's switched for the the correct leg. The submission will come on now. Yeah, he's done done the right thing there to switch off to the opposite side. I think the only saving grace for Johnson is uh, is it's that right cage. hand. Yeah, and the cage maybe. I don't know. He's looking to try and step that leg over. 
But this could be working on tighter and tighter by the second. Certainly not a comfortable position for Johnson. Like you say there, Jay, you know, maybe that right hand is saving him a bit because the, the submission looks really tight. It looks super tight. Yeah, and Johnson does not want to quit. I mean, some fighters might in this position, but, you know, Johnson's gritting his teeth and he looks like he's going to hold out. And, uh, you know, is his opponent burning his legs out a little bit there? If he can't quite get that finish because the hand's in, and we can just see it poking through there, just yeah. giving him a little bit of extra space. I think I think uh, John, he needs to pull Johnson's arm across. Maybe that'll tighten things up. But he should be finishing the submission from this position now. It's a great position. Long limbs, like you say. Only 10 seconds left in the round, though, and it looks like he won't have the time to finish as close as that is. Yeah, Johnson's very tough to not tap from that. And uh, saved by the bell there for... Johnson, he'll see the third round now, but he's likely two rounds down, it has to be said. He was sat in that triangle for most of that round. So whilst his opponent didn't manage to finish it, it did mean Johnson didn't manage to get much offense off it. He got a takedown early in the round. Well, I mean, you know, it's a tough one to score, I guess. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it Blackshaw's two up now, you know. I mean, Looking at Johnson now, you know, he's, he's breathing okay. The submission looked really tight, but he looks pretty comfortable there talking to his coach, uh, Mr. Blackledge. Maybe that hand, you know, that hand that was just stuck in, maybe that was saving him a little bit, you know. You know, credit to the guy for not tapping to that. I would have. Yeah, and, you know, if, if he wants it and he wants to fight and he's not going to tap to that I think we might see him come out firing in round three yeah I agree I mean we seen a fight earlier on it was two rounds down and he come out and got the finish so this is MMA anything can happen anything can happen Bob Sinclair also available for karaoke bookings as well as MMA commentary X Factor final tonight mate Johnson looking for that low kick he's landed a few of them you can see the welt slightly on his opponent's um, lead leg there oh nice takedown there by Blackley just got to finish it a great entry but Johnson sprawling really well yeah that was a nice sprawl from Johnson Blackshaw was in on the hips there but he just didn't get that drive through to finish his double leg Johnson this, looking for a guillotine this is a very dangerous position for Blackshaw pushing against the fence there Johnson could quite easily jump for a guillotine the right arm is under the chin but he hasn't got uh, the opposite arm in a very good position and he switches there to his underhook to defend the takedown instead. Nice defence against the fence so far from Johnson. And Blackshaw drops to his knees to put pressure in and looking for the ankle pick. But Johnson puts a Kimura on against the fence as the defence. Yeah, that's good defence. And, uh, you know, with a, and he does, does the right thing by stepping off. He might be able to finish that, well, almost Sakuraba-esque Kimura. But he gets his defence and he's back in the middle of the cage. Look for him to throw some bombs. It looks as though Johnson looks to be getting stronger as the round goes on. He's certainly more enthusiastic here in round three. He's looking for that high crotch possibly. And he might have it, he elevates him. Nice take down there from Johnson. Yeah, he yeah, gets his man to the mat and that's a big right hand coming through the pipe. I think he's got to still finish the fight though. You know what I mean? Maybe look for one big shot, submission, pass guard. You know, he's got to go for broke now. Kicking the legs is all good and well, but he's got to finish the fight. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. He really needs to be aggressive and move towards his man. Try and land some heavy strikes. He needs to just try and dive into the guard with, with anything, you know, big shots. He needs a fight ender. He does need a fight ender. And from that position there, Blackshaw stands up. Gives him too much. Johnson gives him too much space. It was a, probably a great position there to maybe try and get some offense off, like you say. High crotch again, but Blackshaw does a good job of defending it. Good balance from him there. Both guys quite tired now. Not long left in this final round. Big overhand right, narrowly misses. Hits and him he, right on the elbow. Great shot. He's in for the takedown, and this is Johnson's best round of the fight, but is it going to be too little too late? I think Johnson has to posture up now. He's in Blackshaw's guard. He has to posture up and rain down shots. He has to. He has a great round but loses the fight 2-1 in my opinion. If he stays in this position. Come on man, gamble. Yeah, and he, he's Black. looking for the shots in the open guard but really needs to be as aggressive as possible. 
I see Blackledge is screaming at him with 10 seconds left. Landed a, a couple of nice right hands there, jumping in the guard, but he needed to do that a little bit earlier. Waited till a 10 second clapper went, and it might be too little too late. We don't know what the judges have down on their scorecards, but you know, from our position, it might have just been too little too late there for uh, Johnson. The judges see this as a split decision. For your winner, 